Yo, welcome to City Skylines 2, episode 7 for feature highlights, maps and themes. Very important. Let's see what they got. I like to have a nice beach on my uh, on my map. It's easy to forget how much our day to day is shaped by where we live. True. But how our world looks. That's some crazy ass looking valley. Changes sets the scene for our lived experience. It's the same for the people in your city. And in City Skylines 2, the world is a whole lot bigger. The buildings themselves can feel now bigger. Build on an area five times bigger than before. Holy! To 159 square Crap! Kilometers. That's what? Than countries. Maps are composed of individual Whoa. tiles. Whoa! You can make like multiple connect cities on the same map. Sweeping urban jungle, or don't connect them wow. to develop interesting little pockets of life. You can oh. unlock 441 you can tiles. Just whatever you map, want. But you'll have nine to work with when you begin your city building. That's fine. Yeah. For each milestones to unlock more. When Whoa, you do, that's a lot of them. That Megalopolis, that's a lot of them. Plans. Before you click, preview the total buildable area. Yeah. What natural resources are available? Just like it is at the, the moment. Of that tile. Oh, they're the all different now. The map inspires you to think big. Damn, that looks sick. To think up. Height limits have increased too. Freeing you to carve a city higher in the sky than ever before. Some people are gonna go Building nuts on this. this scale also invites you to think outside of the box, literally. Create connections to cities beyond the edge of your map to open yeah. up trade routes that can accelerate your city's growth. Yeah, I wish there wasn't like a before stop there. You select a map, but whatever. Look at where it sits on the globe. We should just is like keep on going, you know? Or south of the equator. And which hemisphere is it in? Check out how much of the map can be built on, yep. which natural resources it has, and what, if yep. any, connections already exist to neighboring cities. Sweeping plains like, looks nice, click, man. I like that give one. Give your city a name. This is also your chance to change the default theme if you want to. There are two themes: yep. European and North American. And hey, let's go. Shape the look and feel of your city, from street markings to cop cars. The yep. biggest difference is the architectural style of residential and commercial buildings. You can add buildings from the other theme when zoning your city. That's cool. This lets you pepper yeah. European buildings in your North American city, and vice versa. And there Still, are some cities in NA that are very European looking. The appearance of your city. And some parts, anyways. And it can be changed later. There are 10 maps in the base game, each drawing inspiration from real world. Barrier locations. Island looks nice you too, man. Recognize them. Twin Mountain, oh the baby, that looks nice. Available on the new expanded maps, it looks like terrains real. Are more varied, resources are more accessible, and there are more, much more to realistic. To other cities. You'll discover maps where life is lived Damn, on the sandy beaches of a sprawling archipelago. So much empty maps space. Maps that invite you to build at high altitudes with Snow. a mountainside map, or along the winding waters of a rich river delta. There might even be a map that looks like the world outside your window. Select the map that stirs your imagination to looks set the stage sick. for life and living in the city of your. I already, I can see my city just like on the last map. That the way, the way I would place like everything automatically just from what I'm doing right now. But uh, oh man, I, I really coming into this, I really thought the map would be smaller. The way they said it, like outside connections and whatnot. I was thinking of something more like SimCity, the newer one, which everybody hated because it was so small. But oh, they went the complete opposite way, and thank God they did. So now you can actually have like multiple cities, and like actually have like a you know highway system going between them and whatnot, like a real one, not like current one where, yeah, you could do it, but they'd have to be fairly small. This one looks like you can build some very large cities, and you can set them up any way you want and be on the same map, or just build like a really big, big, big one. Um, besides that, I don't know, man. It looks it looks really really good. I'm really happy about the map size because you know obviously you needed mods to like unlock the current game, and uh, it was one of the few mods I was using. I'm not a mod user, but that was one that I was I was always using just because to unlock the whole freaking map, you know, because it was it was too small uh, with what we currently have. So that looks really good. And again, the maps themselves they look so realistic, much more realistic than what we had before. So man, I can't wait to see also what the expansions bring. You know, what kind of maps they bring and whatnot. So. Looks really, really cool. Thank you for watching.